All right, so I've prepared another business rules table for this process that is canceling the request. And it has hospital and organ requests, which are the two objects, in the table. Now, interestingly, this table looks exactly like the table from the previous diagram, which was receiving the request. But receiving the request, and in this case, canceling the request, are two different contexts. Our questions this time in this table have to be in the context of this process of canceling the request. So we have to choose a different verb structure to be able to deal with that. Also, you'll notice again, I've put this one in front of hospital and, and one in front of organ request. And it's a good habit to get into because it helps me, uh, and I'm sure it will help you as well, to stay really, really focused on a single specific hospital or a single specific organ request in this case. It helps us to remind us that it's just one that we're dealing with. So let's ask the questions. For a single specific hospital, how many organ requests might that hospital cancel? Could they cancel one? Sure. Could they cancel several over time? Sure they could. <clears throat> so I'm going to put an N in there for several, for numerous. Is it possible that a hospital never cancels a request? Sure, it's possible that they never cancel a request. I'm going to put a zero meaning never in there. And every time I have that zero, you will recall, I have to ask a fourth follow-on question, which is, under what circumstance would a hospital never cancel a request? So I'd, I'd ask my subject matter experts, my clients about that. They'd say, well, you know, they would never cancel a request for a couple of reasons. One is they've never submitted a request, and the other one is that they just don't cancel it because they need the requests that have submitted, they, they need the request to be fulfilled that they've submitted. Both of those reasons have to be written up under the rules which are documented under our hospital. Under the object hospital, we're going to document these rules. Um, as as a uh, hospital may cancel one or more organ requests. The hospital may never cancel, might never cancel an organ request, but e.g. Um, that you know, they've never submitted a request. Remember we talked about that one earlier. Uh, and the other one is that they need everything that they've submitted. So there's nothing to cancel. It's a just because, what I call it just because, just because. Uh, you know, there's no particular reason. We don't know about the reasons uh, uh, in this particular case. So these should become events. But again, the hospital never has submitted uh, a request, we look back over here, uh, is, is really taken care of by the absence of that request. Right? And the same thing with their need. You know, they get the request and fulfill it, and we don't need to document those as, as events in that case. Let's look at the other part over here. For a single specific word in request, one of these, just one. How many hospitals might cancel that request? Well, obviously, just one. Several hospitals can't, and none can't, of course. So a single request could be canceled by a single hospital. And you're just going to put that there. We're going to document that rule under organ request, under the object organ request. There would be a rule there. And that's all there's to it. Very straightforward in this case. Different context from the first one. Therefore, different rules. Same table here as there was for this one. But context is different. Therefore, these ones and ends and zeros would show up as shorthand, even though it's the same ones and ends and zeros as will be here. When we write the rule, we use a different verb to signify the different context. Very straightforward once you get used to it.